So, uh, my guess is we're talking hockey. Yes. It's that time of year. Well, it's exciting. I mean, everything's getting going. Baseball, it feels like we haven't stopped talking about hockey. Playoffs, well, we never really stop. But baseball playoffs getting going. Football started. It's a good time of year to do what I do. <laughs> Excellent. Yes. Why don't you get to it? All right. Well, all right. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> get to it. All right. Thanks, Scott. The Tour Royals are now just three days away from kicking off their inaugural WHL season in Vancouver. And there's no question the team will rely heavily on good goaltending this year. The only problem is they don't have a number one yet. In fact, they still have three guys vying for the job. Mike Walker explains. With just four days until the Victoria Royals drop the puck on their inaugural season, it's a little crowded between the pipes. Three talented goaltenders are still vying for a job in the capital, and that's just the way the coaching staff wants it. We're going to have three goalies for a while. Uh, we don't have to be down to the actual 25 men until October 10th, which is the overage cut down day two. So we want this to play out. We like all three of them. Um, one younger and two older guys. So uh, we've talked about it all camp that things kind of sort themselves out, and they do. So there's no use uh, doing something if, if you don't need to. Jared Rathjen is a 17-year-old native of Prince George who played his way from rookie camp into the top three. The start of camp, I felt a little bit nervous and going into exhibition games. It was my first exhibition game, so I felt a little bit nervous, but it's been getting more comfortable and more comfortable, and I think I've been getting better. Braden Gamble is one of four 20-year-olds still on the Victoria roster, making the move from Chilliwack a year ago. It's fun competition. Everyone's trying their hardest for sure, and uh, you know, once you go out there, it's all business, and uh, just got to give it your all. Well, Keith Hamilton arrives on the island after patrolling the nets in Portland last season as a backup on one of the top teams in the league. There's three good goalies here, so you know we got a you got a battle every practice, battle every game. You just can't take any day off. But the prospect of keeping three goaltenders until roster deadline day really is a case of odd man out, and will likely leave one of these young men without a place to play. Oh! But as of right now, the Royals don't even have a clear number one starter in mind, leaving the competition in the crease wide open. It uh, <laughs> definitely makes it work a lot harder when you got two other good guys who are uh, battling the crease with you, but it makes it a lot funner too. Uh, yeah, it doesn't. It definitely helps Helps you get to the top of your game, that's for sure, and get ready for the season. You go out there every, every day and work your hardest, and you know whatever happens, happens, but as long as you know you did your best at the end of the day, that's all you can ask for. It doesn't matter who starts on Friday. A uh, guy can change Saturday. It has no bearing on who we think is the best goalie or the worst goalie or, or anything like that. Which means we might be waiting until October 10th to finally crown Victoria's King of the Net.